We're getting a better understanding of the chaos that unfolded last week after a motorcycle collided with a mobile police car. Now tonight we have obtained the 911 transcripts from seven calls that flooded in after the wreck deadly wreck. Now as you're about to see some of the callers claim the officer left the scene. Did they get the person that hit him? Yeah, it's the cop. The cop was coming through the light. The He's police hit him? He's up there. Yeah. No. This was the frantic scene seconds after a motorcycle collided with a mobile police car at a busy intersection. Tonight, 911 transcripts are detailing what other witnesses reported shortly after the deadly impact. 67-year-old Robert Sayan was killed in the crash. It was a hectic scene Friday night at the intersection of Ziegler Boulevard and Cody Road. People yelling and screaming, angry at what they saw. He went around what? this girl car and he Hit that man. I was behind him. And he, kept going. he sat around oh. me, he hit the motorcycle, and he kept going. At least two of the people who called 911 backed up those claims. The first call came in at 7.02. The caller told the 911 dispatcher, quote, there's been a bad motorcycle accident and that the man was knocked off his motorcycle. The dispatcher asked what was the color of the other car. The caller said they didn't know because the driver kept going and that they couldn't see them. After being transferred to Mobile Fire Rescue, the caller was telling someone in the background, quote, the police hit him and kept going. A fourth 911 call comes in a minute later. The caller tells the operator they're at the corner of Cody and Ziegler and says, quote, I just saw a police officer in a truck hit a motorcycle and keep going. He hit this man and kept going right in front of us. Surveillance video shows the officer coming down Ziegler, appearing not to slow down as he approached the yellow blinking lights, and his SUV goes out of frame after the collision. The traffic lights at the intersection were malfunctioning, flashing yellow on Ziegler and red on Cody. We're told a city worker was en route to fix the issue when the crash happened. Now, when our photographer first got on the scene Friday, he couldn't find the police car involved in the crash. He eventually located it almost a quarter mile from the intersection. Now, while the investigation continues, the officer has been taken off the streets and placed on administrative duty. Robert Sands family has started a GoFundMe. We will have a link posted on our website.